Gears of War 2 are back for another comparison. On the left, we have Gears of War 2 running on Xbox Series X, which provides a 4K resolution at 30 FPS with no auto HDR support. On the right, we have the original Xbox 360 hardware. That's right, dug up the old console to play it on it. And that gives us 720p, 30 FPS. Again, no HDR support on that version. So Gears of War 2 is obviously a fairly iconic entry in the Gears of War franchise. It increased the scope of the series and actually provided some really intense, large-scale environments that you get to fight in. So you're probably not going to notice too many intense upgrades with this initial segment. I just included this part of the game because it looks great. It's really action-packed and it's kind of an awesome way to kickstart our look at Gears of War 2. So obviously there's going to be a big kind of difference here once we get into actual gameplay. I believe this is actually a pre-rendered cutscene of sorts uh, at the start here, which is kind of interesting because I didn't know that was the case. It just it seems like the Series X version of it isn't quite as intense. And then when you get into the regular gameplay and the in-game cinematics, you're kind of like, whoa, this is a huge upgrade. I mean, it, it already looks a little bit better just because, you know, capturing-wise and everything on the new console, it just... <laughs> Obviously, it's going to be improved a lot, but it's just kind of an intense opening here just to get things roar. And at least I think so. It's like a big speech thing. You know, we're getting ready to fight the Locust. It sets the stakes for the rest of the game and the experience that we're about to have. And it also reintroduces characters and adds a little bit of an emotional piece for Dom, kind of kickstarting his journey that really is kind of a big part of this second adventure. I mean, it's about Delta going underground, taking a fight to the Locust, but there's also a smaller, really intimate tale that is between, you know, Dom, Marcus, and Dom looking for his wife, and I really like that extra layering to the kind of narrative and stuff, really giving these characters a little bit more depth, and having them have that family kind of connection, because, you know, Gears 3, you've got Marcus and his father, Gears 1 was just kind of establishing this universe and the characters and the, you know, the stakes and everything like this. And then this one just really gets you going in intense as we begin to get down in there to battle them and uh, prepare for an all-out war and assault against the Locust. It also teases a pretty big sort of uh, creature, I guess you could say, in regards to something that can sink entire cities, and that part is absolutely insane. But yeah, I wanted to start with this because I just think it's a really good showcase of, well, really the game and getting an idea of what it's like. And I do highly suggest trying this one out. Uh, be sure to play the whole Gear series. It's just such a fantastic selection of games. They're, they're so well done. They, they really are, and they all have some sort of great dynamic to them. Especially being played in co-op, you know, I, I think that makes it even more special, kind of working through it with someone else. And go forth, you high fellow gears, as you get ready for an insane quality change. So, obviously, the biggest change that we're about to see here momentarily is the difference in resolution quality. Actually, you should be seeing that already here. Uh, just in terms of, you know, the clarity of the environments, the characters, uh, the resolution quality of the rocks, the, the texturing, and the different character models, the way the light kind of pops a bit more on the next gen. So here we go, this is, you know, regular gameplay. This is when you should be first really, really seeing the, the difference between the two. Uh, a lot more clear, defined trees in the backdrop. Uh, a lot more clarity also with the rocks in the far distance as well. And then the character models are not jagged like they are on the 360 version. If you are wondering about where the audio is coming from, that is the left side from the Series X because it sounds better. And yes, this should be a bit of a, an intense opening, and I tried to match this up the best I could so they'd be side by side. And, um, you know, I, I think I did a pretty good job of that. You know, these videos are a lot of work, so, you know, if you could be sure to like them, that would be fantastic. Subscribing is great. And I kind of hope you enjoy the action. We will be showing off, you know, this opening segment for single player, and then a little bit of a later mission in the story as well, and then finishing off with a selection of multiplayer maps, so you can see how that looks, where I think there's also quite a big difference. So here you, you really, really should be picking up on some of the 
you know, the adjustments and the changes between the two of them, which I think is just such a nice upgrade to inherit from uh, the enhancement that gave us this resolution boost. I, I really do love that they did this. You should see the, the texturing on the rocks around us looking a lot sharper on the left alongside the character models and also just seeing it look a lot clearer quality wise like the trees out in this valley and uh, the clouds and stuff it, they just look a lot more defined you know it's a very very good looking actually i'd say for both versions it's a very good looking game i mean you know gears of war 2 really was i think fascinating for its era in terms of pushing the engine and also just like the sense of scale in this one is really just fascinating because they tried to have these large scale battle scenarios and they wanted to do them as much as possible in this. You get so many different segments where there's like huge wars going on with tons of enemies. Like the Brumox scene towards the end is crazy the amount of you know folks that you kind of obliterate in there. It's just nuts. But yeah, I tried to line these up as best as I could. You see like even the weapon here a lot more clear, right? The gun that you're kind of zoomed into. It looks a lot sharper, just like the trees and the rocks and the dirt on the ground, too, if you can kind of see that. A lot more defined, not as jagged. Keeping in mind, you know, side by side, I mean, th this isn't like necessarily the same as you're going to have a full screen vision of it on your TV, but we do the side by side so that you can see them lined up against one another, right? And when it is blown up on a big screen, I hope you are actually seeing the differences, because I think it is astronomically... <laughs> more detailed and more gorgeous on the Series X. And it's such a treat to be kind of like comparing the two and then just seeing that. The fact that this isn't even like some sort of port or re-release, we just get a much better version of the game to enjoy. <laughs> I think that's just awesome. You know, we got some Reavers. I also like this part because this, for me, when I, I first went to play this game back in the day, you know, when it first came out, and you got that crazy speech off the start, and then you go to this segment where you're fighting like this this huge area. Like this is still like a pretty big feeling environment, and you're on these big rigs battling it out. I just think it's very well done, and, and genuinely cr quite a surprising way to kickstart this game because I really wasn't too sure about it. I wasn't reviewing anything back then, so you know I got at midnight just like everybody else but uh, the multiplayer a lot of issues with the multiplayer I couldn't even play it at that night which was disappointing and it, I think it took months for them to actually get it so that I could play the multiplayer uh, actually properly without having I remember having to join lobbies of my friends in order to actually connect and I was like this is so heartbreaking to a younger because I was, I was like a kid back then right it was, it was very heartbreaking at midnight you know you wait in line and everything and then I had to come home and play just horde mode by myself which was cool horde mode was like a big thing in this but uh, you know obviously it wasn't as great an experience as fighting people online at night so this is our first fighting sequence so this should also be a good showcase of the, the quality difference between the two seeing how the character models looking all nice and I thought I'd be smarter on the Series X because I filmed the, the 360 version first because it's easier to emulate on a system that's running a little bit better just in terms of matching my movement up and I go to the grid get the grenades first and I think I'm actually slower on the Series X killing everyone in this area I'm a little less effective <laughs> which is funny but yeah also like the blood looks a little bit better uh, the gunshots just the environment itself it's got like a more correct color look to it if that makes sense I think that's a big part of it. It just seems like with the sharpness, the lights on the Gears characters kind of pop a little bit more. With the sniper, the, everything like that. And this is a loading test here, so you can see how fast it loads. And as you can tell, you know, obviously the Series X loads it significantly faster, which is nice. <laughs> the other one's just kind of still waiting to get into it, but you know not the worst in terms of loading still You got to give it to the 360 is definitely a very powerful machine for its time But I think this also is a really good spot that kind of shows the difference in the quality between the two The gun just much sharper the character models the blood everything comes alive a lot more And I don't know why I picked this stage, but I just thought like the look of the architecture and the fact that you get into the action pretty fast was a good 
kind of spot to kind of present the two of them. And you gotta throw in a chainsaw in there, of course, to the best of my ability. I think I'm a little delayed on the left getting the chainsaw going. Come on, there we go. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So now we're switching gears to <laughs> to the multiplayer experience, and I think, you know, Blood Drive, obviously, a big kind of map to show this off here. And I think the multiplayer shows off the differences even more than perhaps the single player at times, just because the outline of the character very clearly looks way sharper on Series, series X, along with a lot of the, uh, the architecture and the environment, and just the outlines are just smooth and not jagged, which is fantastic. And this is hard to line up, because I threw bots in here, because, you know, the bots make sense in regards to actually making it feel like there's stuff going on. You know, it adds a little layering of randomness to it as well in regards to seeing if these things actually line up and do stuff properly. Uh, River, because, you know, this is a very well-loved map. I'm shocked that they haven't really brought this one back. I don't think they brought this one back since. Or at least not in the last couple or so. But this is a very lovely looking level too. I don't know why I stopped to get the chainsaw. I think it was because he was in my way and stuff. I totally threw off the comparison of these two. But I was like, just go with it. I'll try to run and catch up to it. And then I run into the car. And I'm like, oh, that's not going well. And gridlock, because, you know, we've we've got to have gridlock into uh, comparison here as well. This is a cool gridlock because it's kind of like all aged and overgrown and stuff, which was a really neat angle to take for it. Uh, at the time this game came out, because I remember they did a whole flashback pack at the beginning. I think it was like a pre-order or something like that. And it just, you know, brought back these great maps and totally changed how they looked. And I, I thought it was just awesome. And uh, Nowhere. I actually played against uh, Cliff Blinsky and uh, Dana Cowley and stuff, like a whole bunch of the developers and PR people for Gears of War I actually played against them on this map, and they just chainsaw everybody. That's all they did was just chainsaw all of them. It was actually a very memorable moment, uh, one I remember to this day. But I think this map also kind of shows off the visual change a bit too. And then just watching the battle a little bit. And then we're going to finish off with just a, a quick tour of uh, mansion on Series X, so you can see that, just because it looks so beautiful and I thought it would be a good little finisher so you can really see full screen just how much better this game looks on, you know, the current generation console. And I hope you enjoyed this dive into Gears of War 2 for a fun comparison.